The Black Cat first appeared in Amazing Spider-Man number 194 and 195. She began her burglary career by breaking into police headquarters and stealing four police files. Two of said files were for men that the Black Cat recruited for a job. A former mob enforcer named Bruno Granger, and a demolitions expert named Dr. Boris Corpse. Spider-Man first encountered the Black Cat while she was on her way to the subject of the third file, a black market arms dealer named Emil Greco. Spidey followed the masked woman to Greco's storehouse where the two fought for the first time. Despite lacking superpowers, the cat held her own against the hero using only skill and agility. She was able to distract Spider-Man with a kiss before escaping with the desired weapons. However, Spidey figured out his next move when a news report came on the TV detailing the theft of the stolen files. He took notice when Greco was mentioned, and while the whereabouts of Bruno and Corpse were unknown to the authorities, the fourth file belonged to an elderly cat burglar named Walter Hardy. Hardy was serving his sentence, but it seemed he was likely to die in prison, as he was terminally ill and close to the end of his life. Spider-Man swung over to the prison, tracking down Hardy's cell, but before he could question the old burglar, he was attacked by the Black Cat. While Spidey was distracted, Bruno and Dr. Corpse planted explosives on the window to Hardy's cell. The resulting explosion knocked Spider-Man down, burying him in rubble and badly injuring his arm. Meanwhile, the Black Cat escaped with Hardy. She brought the dying cat burglar back to his own home. Here she unmasked and revealed her identity. The Black Cat was actually Walter's daughter, Felicia, who had trained for years to follow in her father's footsteps. However, what she didn't know was that Walter Hardy never wanted his daughter to live the same life as him. When her mother arrived home, Felicia left her parents to be together in her father's final moments. When she walked outside, Spider-Man was there, having figured out the Black Cat's identity when he looked into Hardy's records and discovered that he had a daughter living there. Spidey and the cat battled again, with Felicia revealing that by the time her father was arrested, he had already been retired from crime for years, and that he wasn't even responsible for the crime he was convicted of. During the fight, the black cat escaped again, this time by faking her death after plummeting into the ocean. When Spider-Man returned to the house, he found that Walter Hardy had already passed away. Of course, the black cat would return many more times. At one point, she and Spider-Man even formed an intimate relationship. Wanting to help him in his crime-fighting career, Felicia began searching for a way to give herself superpowers, looking to the likes of the Avengers and the Fantastic Four for help. When that failed to produce results, she began scouring the underworld for a solution. Eventually, she was approached by a group who claimed to be able to help. At their request, Felicia met them at the lab where the late Dr. Harlan Stilwell created the Human Fly. Here, Felicia spent the next several days testing and training until the mysterious gang had successfully imbued her with the power she desired. From this process, she gained both enhanced agility and a bad luck power that would cause misfortune to befall her opponents. However, it turned out the man behind all of this was none other than the Kingpin. Not only that, but it's later revealed that the bad luck powers were part of the Kingpin's revenge plot against her for stealing from him previously. The bad luck would not only affect her enemies, but anybody who got too close to her, including Spider-Man. This problem was later solved when Spidey went to Doctor Strange for help. Strange removed the bad luck curse afflicting the hero, simultaneously removing the powers from Felicia. When the cat confronted Strange about this, he explained that her luck powers weren't simply removed, but mutated instead. Now she possessed cat-like abilities including enhanced strength, agility, endurance, vision, and retractable claws. While she did eventually lose these powers as well, thanks to a machine developed by the Chameleon, she has since compensated. By obtaining tech from the Tinkerer, she outfitted herself with implants, increasing her balance and agility. Not only that, but she also gained contact lenses that increased her vision, and retractable claws built into her gloves. 
In more recent years, she also had a supervillain scientist named Doc Trauma implant a device to restore her bad luck powers without the negative side effects. With or without powers, over the years the Black Cat has been a thief, a vigilante, and a full-on mob boss. Let me know which incarnation you prefer in the comments below. And if you like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more marvelous content. In addition, if you would like to join the discussion with other friends, followers, and fans of the show, you can follow the link in the description below to join the Merry Marvel Society on Discord. Furthermore, if you support me on Patreon, not only will you contribute directly to the show, but you'll gain the title of Mighty Avenger and a slick golden name over on the Discord server. So until next time, true believers, Excelsior!